designate a folder for your walkthroughs, create your walkthrough form and the spreadsheet that will receive your responses. I have generated um, a demo walkthrough form. Click on responses, choose to select the destination response, and then that's going to create your spreadsheet for your, uh, for your responses to generate within. And so now you will need to create the Google Doc that your teachers are going to receive after you've done the walkthrough. So the next step is to set up the form that your teachers are going to receive after you have completed your walkthrough. So when you hit submit, Autocrat is going to automatically email um, your, the form to your, to your teacher. And so in Google Docs, I've started um, this walkthrough. You're gonna title your, your document walkthrough template or um, a, a name that you will be able to easily remember to refer back to, but you're gonna title it a template. Um, so you can create your heading, whatever you want that to look like. Um, I just chose these particular pieces, teacher name. So the, the pieces that are here, you have to put them inside carrots um, and they come straight from here. So I want um, alignment and appropriateness to be um, inside piece, the pieces of information that the teacher gets. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back over to my template and I'm going to paste it here, but I'm gonna paste it inside some carrots. All right, so this is just my title here, and this piece right here, this is what indicates or tells Autocrat to pull it from here. Okay, so I'm gonna to continue to set up my form and then I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, so I've completed setting up my form that the teachers are gonna actually receive. Um, I deliberately left it really short, number one, for demonstration purposes only, but number two, because I want you to know and understand that as big as your walkthrough form is, you don't have to include everything um, in the piece that your teacher actually gets. And so this is gonna be what our teacher is gonna get. Okay. So the next thing that you need to do is now that you have it all set up this way, you're going to come over to your form and you're going to open up the spreadsheet. And so this is where you're going to actually pull in and set up Autocrat. So I'm going to go to add-ons and I'm going to do get add-ons. And I already have Autocrat installed, so I'm going to select Launch. It is going to take it a little minute to, to generate. No merge jobs have been set up yet for this particular sheet, so I'm going to click New Job. I'm going to title my job. So this is going to be walkthroughs year choose a template. So I already have created my template. So I'm going to select from drive and then I need to navigate to where that template is. And it is here. Click select. So it, it's now reading my walkthrough template. Click next. Okay, so I'm on step three. 
Okay, so when you reach step three, you need to map the source data from your template. So your source is where you're pulling your information from. And so this is what you're, you have on your template. And so where do you wanna pull that from? And so you can see that Autocrat has already made the match for you um, but sometimes you you might get a, a, a mistake where autocrat is having a little bit of trouble reading where do you want your information to come from and so you would have the ability to select the drop down menu and then it's going to give you every single um, piece in your uh, um, form in your google form that you have in in your form to choose from but this particular instance autocrat made the match for you and for most of the time autocrat is going to is going to be able to make it for you so i'm going to click next i'm going over to step four so what do you want to name your file um, i'm going to name mine teacher name and so whenever i whenever autocrat finishes and it sends the teacher the the email of their walkthrough results it's going to save that document um, this is the file name of what your document is going to be saved and so i want it to be named the teacher's name what type of a document do you want autocrat to create i want them to create um, a pdf and then i'm going to leave it as my output i'm going to leave it as multiple so for step five, I need a destination. So I need to show you where um, the destination folder it needs to come from. I'm going to click back over here to my Google Drive and you can see I'm inside my walkthrough folder. This is my form. This is the spreadsheet that it's populating into. This is my template. I created a new folder named it merged walkthroughs. And so when I go back to my Google spreadsheet, so I need to go and find that particular folder. So I'm going to click here to choose folder. And this is my merged walkthrough folder. That's where I want everything to go. So I can actually get rid of this one. And I'm gonna remove that folder because I want it to go into my merged walkthroughs. Click next. I'm gonna leave this as is. I'm gonna leave that as is. Do I wanna share it? So you wanna say yes, because this is where and how your teachers are going to get a copy of your um, walkthrough observations. So you're gonna select PDF. Do you wanna allow collaborators to reshare it? So if you're, if you're sending it to your teacher, do you want that teacher to be able to reshare it? You could select yes or no. Send from a generic no reply address. Um, you can, it can come from you, um, so you can say no. And then who do you want it to go to? And so it needs to know where to populate from. So remember back in your, um, in your template here, you had the form, the field of teacher email. So this is where you want it to, to come from. So I'm gonna copy and then I'm going to come here and I'm going to put in my carrots and then in between my carrots I'm going to paste teacher email because that's who I want it to go to and then next you can only do one of these you can't do both so do you want it to run every time you get a new form or do you want it to run every on every hour? Do you want it to be a timed thing? So we want it to run every time you have a new form. And so I chose the yes. And then now I can save everything. Oh, email subject is missing. Oh, sorry. Let's see email subject type in a subject School. 
beautiful year. All right, so there we go, that is it. And so now, oops, so now Autocrat is ready to um, begin working with um, emailing your teachers their walkthrough stuff. Okay, so I just did Miss Good Teachers walkthrough, and now I'm going to submit it. And we are going to let Autocrat do its thing. And so now that I have completed that, I can check my email. There you can see that the form was submitted to my email. So your teacher has the ability to open it up and see, oh, all the wonderful responses and the feedback that you were able to provide to that teacher. On your end, uh, when you go to your walkthrough folder, so you will see your all of your pieces and inside this merged walkthrough folder, this is where all of your um, observations are going to be stored for every single teacher that you complete a form on. So I hope this helps you. Um, shoot me an email if you have any questions.